What's up everybody, this is our second tutorial on .NET Intermediate Language and in this tutorial we are going to look at intermediate language from the stack point, okay? So we'll talk about stack-oriented intermediate language. We'll learn about constants, we'll learn about how to create local variables, how to work with local variables and how intermediate language interacts with stack. So stay tuned, let's get started. Great, now let's start our development process. For the development, we just need Notepad++ or Notepad. We installed Visual Studio because when you install Visual Studio, it doesn't matter which version you are installing, we'll have intermediate language assembler and disassembler, okay? So let's first create our new file. This is our new file from the file, save as. Let's select our folder. I always store my files on C.NET app. You can store it any way you want. So let's select from the type all types and let's type myapp.il, that's all, okay? And let's start our instructions. First, we need to specify our external dependencies. Right now, we'll have only one external dependency from the MS Core Lib library because we will extend MS Core Lib's system object and also we'll use console write line read line, okay? Dot assembly extern MS Core Lib like this, we are referencing to external MS Core lib, lib library and assembly. This is going to be our assembly name, my app. And of course, I will specify my app.exe for the module. You can just bypass it, but it is better to have a module here. Okay. As always, for all .NET type of applications, we'll have classes because we are writing object oriented in an object oriented manner. So that class public it is going to have a program that extends ms cover leaps system dot object okay and of course you already know that our intermediate language is stack oriented object oriented it means we have stack oriented construct instructions and we have object oriented instructions in our case class and the method i typed here is are going to be our uh, object oriented constructions okay so public static void my entry point and this is our main method string args CLI manager and using a uh, entry point indicator here, entry point, it helps us to define this my entry point method as a main method. Okay, cool. Now let's talk about constants. The constants helps us to load some data to stack and we will interact with stack to learn how intermediate language uh, actively works with stack, okay? So we have LDC load constant instruction and that I4. I4 means I am loading a constant in type integer 32. This four here in the case, it is four byte. It means it is integer 32. You can specify integer 64 using I8, okay? And this is our um, uh, 0x34. Uh, what does it mean? This is a hexadecimal value. Let's check it. Call your calculator and from calculator, go to the programmer mode and from here, select your hexadecimal and just type uh, 34. This means uh, 52 in decimal, okay? So what does this instruction actually um, do here? Uh, it is just um, creating this value and moving it to stack. Let me show you here for the oops, MS paint. Let's open our paint. And this is our stack data structure, okay? And for this data structure, this is going to be our first value as uh, 0x32. Great, now in our stack, we have uh, 32 or 34, it doesn't matter what typed here, okay? And we have 52 as a decimal value. And now I want to specify a second stack value to do add operation, summarizing operation, okay? LDC I4 0x45, and let's go for 45, hexadecimal 44, um, 45, sorry, um, this is going to be 
45. This is 68 decimal. Okay. And at the end, let's call our add IL instruction. It means uh, now in our stack, we have one more information for the, um, the second value. Let's go for it. This is 45. Okay. Let's type it 0x45. And our next instruction, the actual add instruction is going to take these two values from stack, calculate them and add the result to top of the stack. Okay, and now here we have the result. Result. <laughs> okay, cool. Now we have result here. And it means uh, when I call console right line, it is able to take the last stack data and print it out. Okay, let's call void from the MS core lib. Let's call system dot console right line and it is going to be integer 32 instead string because you already have integer 32 as a value in your stack and you are just printing it out and uh, the last operation is going to be our return great let's do the compile process again let's hit enter great everything is working and let's just call our um, application this is going to be my app yeah my app let's hit enter 121 that's how we are working with stack so uh using stack you can approximately do all type of operations when you interact with intermediate when you work with intermediate language here cool now let's talk about local variables let's see how we are defining variables in using intermediate language and how we are interacting with these variables after entry point i am going to specify my sum variable okay i want to summarize these two values to add them and store it in our variable for that reason i am going to specify locals construction with init uh, we are trying to in create a new local variable and this local variable should be initialized before using and this is going to be our uh, integer 32 and uh, result this is my result okay now we have uh, two instructions to values in stack and one here the three values because the result also will be stored in our stack and so i'm just going to take this result from stack and store it in our result variable okay so uh store to local and result so uh, we are going to take data from stack the last data from stack and store it in our result and of course uh, via verse operation uh, is possible to load from local result it means we will take data from result into the back to stack okay and let's just run this operation again and here we are everything is working let's just change the values to see if everything is properly working okay let's compile and let's call it and that's how everything is working so you see with for the compile we called our lsm the file path and for the exe file uh, running we called just the exe file itself to check if everything is working that's how we are interacting with local variables and also for the local variables we have shortcuts here for example when you specify zero here it means uh, you can define multiple variables in your application and you are specifying the first local variable this zero is going to be some sort of alias for your result okay now instead of writing like that you're specifying like this so it means i will uh, store it in my uh, local variable that aliases to result and same is applicable to uh, loading from the variable to stack okay cool now let's change 
values here to see if everything is working. Okay, let me do uh, zoom a little bit. Let's compile it. So you see operation completed successfully and hit enter. Here we are. This is our result. That's how we are interacting with stack in intermediate language. Well, that's almost all. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe, hit like button, uh, share if possible. See you in the next tutorials.